Have any of you guys ever wondered what happens to a pair of headphones after one year of use? So luckily for me, I have bought this Razer Treasure with me around a year ago and I've constantly used it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about and make an honest review on what happens to the Razer Treasure after one year of use. Let's get into the video. They say falling in love is wonderful. So wonderful. So the Thresher is a wireless headset meaning there is no cables over here connected to your PC or PS4 and my over here is a PS4 version as you can see for the blue colouring and blue lighting on the sides and for those Xbox fans out there don't worry there's also an Xbox version with green colouring and I've been using this headphone for playing games such as Call of Duty mainly and also GTA and also Star Wars and I could say these headphones performance are quite good. So there are three main variants of the Treasure for the PS4. My one is the middle one which is the Treasure 7.1 which costs around 600 to 800 ringgits depending on which you are buying with. And also there is a much cheaper version, the Treasure Tournament Edition which is around 500 to 600 ringgits and also the very high end one, the Treasure Ultimate which is around 1,400 ringgits that also comes with a headphone stand. So for the build of the headphones, the ear cups are made from leather and also the sides over here are made from plastic. There is a metal frame over the top and also a pad over here. Wearing these headphones feels really nice. It doesn't have that weight of a headphone and for me honestly, it's really really good as I could use it and wear it as long as I want for really really long gaming sessions or maybe just really really long editing. And the Thresher also has twisted ear cups, meaning you could just put it like this if you want to rest or maybe after hours and hours of gaming sessions. And it also has this simple adjustment, unlike the Razer Kraken where you have the side adjustments. These ones, you could just pick up your headphone, put it open, put it on your head and it fits any head shape and any head sides. Simple as that. So on the sides of the headphones, there's the power button and also the USB charging port and there's also two wheels for controlling both the mic volume and also the master volume of the headphones. Fun fact, both side wheels can be pressed for a quick mute and unmute for both the mic volume and also the master volume. So the moment all of you might be waiting, this is the mic review of the Razer Thresher and as you might be hearing, it's not the best mic. If you want to do it for gaming, I think it can be okay, but it still can be improved for a gaming headset. But if you want to do something like vlogging, make reviews, or maybe streaming itself, I think it's better to invest something much more of a mic, like a Blue Yeti mic, a Rode mic, or maybe an Audio Technica mic, which has much more better audio. But nonetheless, the Razer Treasure has a 16 hour long battery life and it also supports 7.1 Dolby surround sound. So, easy terms, the audio is good, the mic is crap. That's all. So after one year, this is what happens to my headphones. I'm going to split it into two categories. The first one would be the outer quality, the overall quality, and the second one would be the technical which is related to the audio and also the control of the headphones. So for the overall build, there is nothing much. There's only one major thing that really has changed after one year of use, which is the leather ear cup. The leather ear cup have started to pull out and take in some damage, maybe because of too much exposure towards water and also the sweat after all of those gaming I have done and all those time wearing these headphones. But still, those problems could be solved by just buying new pair of leather ear cups from Razer and then the problem would be Done. But for the technical issue, the number one thing that annoys me is the Bluetooth connection of this thing. Sometimes the Bluetooth connection would just turn off out of nowhere and then I'm literally deaf. I couldn't hear anything and especially during attacking enemies or during game, I can't hear any sort of footsteps or gunshots which makes my whole coordination really really blind and I'm just deaf and I just need to see in order to attack and then that really annoys me and I really really hate it but for the second one is the battery so the battery life on the box stated that it has 16 hour long battery life 
for one single charge but after a while those 16 hours have become to 14 12 and 12 hours depending on how intense you play and how intense your audio is and I think that's not really problem at all because gaming for 12 hours is also considered a long time and after 12 hours my eyes and my ears will just get tired and I think that's not a problem at all but the charging time for these have become much more longer at first when I bought it the charging time was really fast but right now the charging time can take for up to six hours to a whole night to fully charge one of these and it's really annoying because sometimes I forgot to charge it and then I just forced to charge it and then play it while charging the headphone during game and that's really annoying because you have a whole cable connected to it yeah but to conclude all I could say the lifetime of your headphone depends on how well you treat it and how well you preserve it for me I put my headphones on my headphone stand over there and I don't really put it on the table or put it anywhere else besides my headphone stand so that's why it stays really good and stays really okay after one year but I think if you the type of person who puts it on the TV or puts it on your table whenever you're not using it I think the lifetime would it would be a little bit lower and also the amount of water and amount of sweat that you get while gaming also affects the quality of the earpiece over here so it all depends on yourself so that's all for today thank you everyone for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and also hit and smash the notification button so you guys will keep me updated on future uploads from me don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see on the next video i guess that's all for today see you guys next time bye